Hey everybody, it's Joey Snow and Rick Claus and we are Patch and Switch on the road to Microsoft Ignite September 24th through the 28th in Orlando, Florida. Today's episode is the teardown. The teardown? The bag episode. We do a tear down of the bag to show people. I don't know that they want to hear the word tear when we talk about the bag. Okay, the review episode. How's that? Is that better? <laughs> we are Patch and Switch and we are on the road to Microsoft Ignite September 24th through the 28th in Orlando, Florida. Today's episode is... Okay, it's not just a 100 level or 200 or 300, not even a 400. We're going 500 level this today? This is a 500 level session we're going to be talking about today. Okay, and we are talking about... The bags. The bags. The bags. Like, we have once again absconded with sample versions. For a short, limited period of time. <laughs> we promise they'll be back in your office soon. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, of the actual bags that we The conference will, bags. That, yep, that the attendees will be getting when they arrive at Microsoft Ignite. Mm -hmm. So this is separate from doing registration. You normally do your registration and then you get directed over to where you can go and do like a, a pickup, if you will. Right? Yes, the materials pickup. And then you will have a choice. Oh? A choice. Shall we Shall we show them? Do we do the reveal now or do we do, do some more logistics first? What do you think? Oh, I think they're probably at this point just going enough already. Okay. Show us the bags. Yeah, so the bags. Did you move in? Yeah, I, well, I did some field testing with it, so I got it all equipped up and ready to go. We were only supposed to just borrow them. <laughs> okay, well, mine's all set for the weekend. It's all good. <laughs> I see that. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we've got two different types of uh, backpacks, two different color choices. You have gray. Yes. And then you have black. But it, I believe I, this I, is a this more of a charcoal. dark gray. I call it this. I call that one charcoal. I call this one slate. Ooh, nice. Fancy. I like it. Uh, secondly, you will also have your choice between a clear water bottle Ooh. or a charcoal water bottle. Right. Charcoal the, water bottle. So I did, we did not have access to the water bottles. They're still under a different lock and key. So I brought my own water bottle just to be able to demonstrate okay. the use of the pocket that's there. Perfect. And we have a new giveaway this year. Mm -hmm. the attendees will also have their choice between orange, green, or blue earbuds. Oh. Oh, Why would we have earbuds? I was about to say, that's probably going to be very useful for either watching the big sessions on the ginormous wall that was there last year, because that's they're going to be there again today. Yeah. And also for the labs. Yep, exactly. Remember, in the immersion zone, mm -hmm. uh, we have those instructor-led labs, which are being led by uh, somebody at the front of the room, and, and folks follow along. And because it's in a rather loud space, right. you've got the earbuds. So there so you go. It's like the, uh, as I mentioned, the, the, uh, the silent disco for geeks. Yes, there's just not a different channel for the different... Right. Okay. <laughs> just to be clear, because... Yeah. Okay. So, you've obviously spent quite a bit of time yeah, with this so, bag, and so it I've absolutely done, frightens I've done me. A little so. bit of a review. So, obviously, just from the top to bottom, on the exterior of what we got going on here, we've got a main interior pouch, set of zippers to get into one. You've got a front pouch, and then the lower front pouch as well. Okay. Both of these guys are all accessible from the outside. Okay. Very simple. On the sides... We have a miscellaneous media pouch that is expandable. What, do you have like a disc man in there or something with those headphones? <laughs> so or? I actually have a, my, this is my, my set of headphones I use when I'm on the plane. They're very good noise canceling ones that are there. It's very high tech. And then I also happen to have my um, ham radio uh, walkie talkie <laughs> we, that's in this particular pocket. You can't too. bring that with you. So I need to take that, but you're not licensed. What? Yeah, it's, uh, I'll set that there. Anyway, that, those usually are fun to have, but I guess I can't have no, that one. No, please don't. Okay. Please leave them at home. So, anyway, the neat thing about this pouch on the side is simply that it could be used expandable to be able to fill up with a water bottle, because it does expand out. Yep. But if you use it for miscellaneous trinkets and things that you happen to have picked up, uh, it will be able to go inside of here and not fall out when you open it. Oh, that's very cool Good with the, mesh, the, the meshing in there. Like a little pocket. That's awesome. But the real reason why it's there, as you can see on the other side, is that it is a very nice expandable holder for those water bottles that you mentioned. So this is yep. just a water bottle I picked up from the office. So. That happens to be there. Hydration, absolutely key. Bring your water bottles. There will be refill stations located throughout the conference. Right. Now, an interesting thing about this one is this pack has really been kind of designed as a multi-purpose pack. Oh. It can be used for tech accoutrement throughout the week. But then when you bring it home, you can use it to go camping and day hiking if you wanted to. All right. So I noticed that so, at the bottom of the bag, you've actually attached 
There's is that a sleeping bag or the, what's going on? I here? didn't fit the sleeping bag in today because it was in the laundry. So I've actually got just simply a hoodie that I've got attached to the bottom of there. Oh, perfect. A little light jacket because remember we always tell people to wear yep. layers. Yep. So you can definitely attach it at the bottom, two little straps to be able to attach it up and you're all good to go. Excellent. On the back side of the um, backpack, you happen to have your regular straps. They're nice and strong as, as in before. They've got some good padding inside of them as well. They're stitched in nicely. A grab bag handle at the top, people to grab and go. And then the neat thing about this time is you have your sternum strap across the front that is elasticized to make it so it's comfortable oh. across the front of your chest. But then it also happens to have adjustable support for your sternum. So it's correctly oh, positioning look the weight that. for where it happens to be. Like I said, you could go on a serious hike with this. Absolutely, absolutely. And obviously you've got your air channel flow in the back to be able to reduce the uh, uh, temperature and increase the airflow that's in the in the back when you're carrying that. And that's all the stuff just on the outside of the bag. Let's get in so, to the bag. Do you have the details on the type of fabric that this is and that sort of stuff? I, I don't notes? I don't actually have the fabric types. Okay. So I think what we can do is we can just kind of cover off the the highlight of this when I got a hold of it is this top zipper. Okay, yeah. So so basically if, I don't know if you can see this, but you'll get to close up zoom on this one here. But all the zippers have their own pulls on them. The pulls are textured so you don't slip off when you're grabbing onto them, so you can be able to pull them nice and, and get them open. But you'll notice that this particular pull on the top has a great sound to it. It's not going to get caught in anything, just yep. like last year's as well. Yep. However, it's larger than last year's. And then they have a regular size zipper for the other pouches. So basically you've got one regular size, one extra large. Perfect. This one's going to be used more often. It's going to last you longer up at the top. Excellent. Open that guy up. Notice you have the ability to go off and Ta attach in some mole gear or some mole. I, I call it mole. Is that right? Mole? Uh, it, sure. It's, uh, standard, be able, uh, standard hooks you can get to be able to go on and put on extra things. Put on your flashlight, maybe your ice pick or maybe your uh, zombie hatchet or something like that. You can go in the top if you needed to. And then it opens up inside the very first pouch at the top, which is a very interesting one. Notice the color of that guy. Yeah, it's kind of this, this crazy silvery gray kind so of thing. So this is actually an RFID protection pouch. Oh! So you can't scan my credit cards. Awesome. That are Great place to put your uh, passport and other passport things as you're carrying along. Yeah. So that's all there. RFID Faraday cage, if you will, up at the top. Yep. And then it opens up inside of the very large and cavernous style interior. There we go. That happens to fit in there. Top is obviously going to be your laptop pouch right across the back. When you're camping or hiking with this pack, you can take out your laptop and put in a water bladder, like a camelback or something like that, yeah. because you have a hole at the top that actually will work so that you can stick the hose through. And have oh, look at that. Out. That's fantastic. Hydration um, sleeve. Word of, word of the wise, though. Don't put a hydration pack and a laptop at the same time, because I've already damaged one surface. Um, with leakage. Of course you So have. I just don't recommend that. It's not waterproof. Uh, I have a note here that says the uh, padded laptop sleeve will fit most 15 inch yeah, laptops. So that's a 15 inch surface. Actually, no, that's my 14 inch. Is that my 14? Yeah, that's my 14 inch surface. I left my 15 at, uh, at the office upstairs. Okay. This is my travel laptop. Yeah, I see. That's How there. nice would it be? Uh, so yeah, nice big wide open space. You can't, I have to get some close ups on this one here because you can't really see it down inside. But basically, the front of the pouch has a whole bunch of different mesh compartments for documentation, yep. for other yep. little miscellaneous stuff. You've got a couple of small, tight pockets in there for some pens or some business cards. I've got a, a mouse in there somewhere, but of course, I can't find it right now. That's, but, how, uh, that's how cavernous it is. He yeah, can't so even find I've got mouse. my Captain America pen to be able to uh, do my customs forms that I have to do on the airplane. But then yep. I also, I found your Surface pen uh, from last year. This <laughs> is from, uh, true story, this Surface pen was from last year when we shot these videos. Yep. You've had it the entire time. I've had it year? the entire time. Well, thank the you. battery I'll, I'll might be dead that. on it, though. You might need to replace the battery. I, just so I you know. can do that. That's fine. So I um, notice here that you, there, there's, another, there's another zipper pouch here. You've got a, a, yeah. a reading device in there? Yeah, so that's mesh packet right now. I've got my little paper white to be able to read on the plane. Very cool. It's a nice way to be able to store it out of the way and grab it quick. And obviously, there's basically an expandable bottom, which you can't really see because of the uh, bottom uh, pouch that's down there. That basically makes it so you got lots and lots of room that have to be fit inside of there. On the outside, I mentioned these two different pouches, and here's an interesting thing again. This is why it makes me think that this is actually thought of as a, as a multi-purpose bag, not just for technology stuff, is because the main front pouch, if you open it up, is actually waterproof and designed for a cooler. So no longer, no longer having to bring your lunchbox and your backpack, it's all integrated into one. So my uh, bars that I have for snacks, just in case I get hungry, yep. will not melt inside of it because Perfect. they're going to stay inside of there, ice pack in there, and then I'm all set. Excellent. 
Oh, I do have a note here. Uh, the backpack is made from durable, water-repellent 600D snow canvas. Nice. I yeah. don't know what that means, but and, it's apparently pretty good. And then it also has basically the inside is like a, um, uh, almost like a waterproof mesh on the inside. So it's like fabric on the inside, but mesh, but um, uh, waterproof on the inside is the way it looks. So these small pockets, you think they'd be Velcro and they just open up, but that's not the case because that would make it so that you'd have things drop off all yep. the time. So you got nice embroidered logo for Microsoft there, but you have additional set of pulls, and I like this because the first pull is blue to stand out. Yep. Again, same textured uh, and ergonomic feel to it. <laughs> Open it up, and on here, I happen to have, this is where I put my little adapters for my Surface Book. I got a yep. cable device for projection. I've got a, another cable device for an Ethernet connection, and then I also happen to have a battery pack that I put in there because it does have a media access port, but you'll notice that I have the cable coming out of here, going around, and back into the bottom. What do you think's in the bottom? Uh, your disc man. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's my Walkman. <laughs> my Sony Walkman. With, with your cassette tapes. With the cassette tapes that are inside of it. No, same thing. It's got the zipper at the bottom. Open it up. And there's your phone. There's my phone that happens to fit in there, and it's all good for that. And so so, so lots of adapter. ports. You've got ports for if, if if you're wearing if you're wearing the wired headphones. Yeah. You've got ports for that as well. Yeah, the wired so headphones go through there. So I got my little <laughs> my 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 adapter to fit into my lightning connector on the bottom. So you travel light, I see. I do. It's still uh, compliant for carry-on luggage, as long as you don't bring your zombie axe or your um, other survivalist <laughs> yeah, gear please, yeah, please. attached to the only straps. Yes, flashlights are okay. The zombie yeah. straps not so much. Um, there are, uh, we mentioned the loops on, on the top to hang the items, the carabiners or straps. Yep. The adjustable bottom straps, so those straps on the bottom where your uh, hoodie is, fully adjustable. I mean, I can see this like skateboard, Yeah. Uh, skateboard yoga there. mats, Yeah. Yoga mats those kinds work. of things. So it's, it's really kind of a, a fantastic little uh, day pack to, be, to have around, not just work, but, but for play as well. You got it. And it even has at the very front the, uh, the pseudo name brand of what the, the back is, but that's actually uh, nighttime reflective. Oh, so it's as you're as you're going for your hike at night, <laughs> less chance of uh, a little bit of, of a little of, bit of uh, reflection. A little there. bit of reflection that's going on. So uh, as we mentioned before, you've got your choice of colors available in the gray and black slash charcoal. Charcoal and slate. Charcoal and, sl and slate, as you say. Uh, remember, you've got your choice of your water bottle. Yep. Um, and yep. then your choice of your headphones that yep. you will pick up. You have a little dangly um, attachment piece there if you needed to for you know, personalizing it. Because all these bags look the same, so you can yeah. always go and personalize it when you arrive and that sort of stuff. That's all good there. And then obviously, I've already mentioned this one here, but the grab bag at the top to be able to lift it up and go. Fit under a seat? I would say it would. I mean, it's got a nice, nice compartmental size. You probably have to take the water bottle out to make yep. it uh, work correctly, but I would yep. say no problem to be able to fit under a seat there at all. And if it's really loaded up, it does have cinch straps on the side to oh. cinch them down and Excellent. reduce the size. Excellent. Perfect. That's it, folks. That's the bag. That's oh. the swag. The, is this, this is the, the, y y rating. I would say this is a two thumbs up. Follow us on social media at Sign Patch and Switch. Let us know what color you are picking in terms of your backpack and heck, even your headphones. You got it. We, is, we is, can determine which headphone color is going to be the best. Yeah, you know, you'd say that this is going to be either a club slate or a club charcoal, perhaps. We'll see. As always, if you want the communication on Microsoft Ignite to continue, use the hashtag MSIgnite. Mm -hmm. You can also follow along with all of the conversations that are going on through, through tech communities which is located at techcommunities.microsoft.com. This is Patch and Switch. We're on the road to Microsoft Ignite. We've got backpacks. Woohoo!